What's going on everybody? Rob here, aka Trev 2323. Boy, am I tired today. Either way, uh, I want to do a little video on this Aquion in my grandson's room. In my grandson's room. Me and my honey hand painted all this. Anyways, uh, we bought him a little tadpole. I remember before I had a tadpole. And this is just a little two and a half gallon tank. So you can either do the partial changes on the tank or you can buy a little filter. I actually decided to buy this quiet flow filter for a three gallon. Now this is a two and a half gallon tank. So this little thing filters a three gallon tank. And all it is, it comes with a little filter, the little filter cartridge. And the top to the filter. The top to the filter, all right? And it has clips that you could either hang it on the back or you could uh, attach it to the back. So let me get this standing up right here, seeing that I got a tripod. I actually bought a plant to put in here too. There's some duckweed in there. All right, so this right here will stand in there and luckily there's an outlet right behind it. You're supposed to rinse these cartridges first before you put it, man, this is the stringiest plastic I've seen. Rinse these cartridges first before you put them in there. I never did, not once in my life. Okay, so that's in there. Okay, I'll put it all the way in the back. All right, now these clips right here, there's some to hang on the back and there's some, see, she could clip these in and it'll just hang on the back. They go in the little holes on the back. You can clip it in just to hang it right on the back. Or you could put these in, which I was going to do. And then you could suction cup it on the back. See? Suction cup it on the back. You put this in here. If you're just starting the tank, technically, realistically, you should uh, cycle your tank. When has anybody known me to cycle a tank? All right, so that's in there. See, then you got to plug it in and put a little bit of water in here. Well, actually, you don't. It filled up from the bottom with water. See, so let me get the plug and plug it in so you can see it run. All right, so there it is. The good thing is it sucks up the water from the bottom. So you don't need to have this all the way filled up. And you see the little flow that it got? It filters 24, 25 gallons per hour, it says. So we do get some motion in the water and actually it's not the bubbles that uh, the bubbles from the air stones that make the uh, air. It's the breaking of the plane of the water up here that makes the oxygen for the tank. Plus there's some plants. We also did buy some uh, plants to put in here, some live plants. I don't know if we had enough light in this room to for them to live, although the duckweed does seem to be doing fine. There's some duckweed at the top. And while we're here, I'm going to show you just because I bought them because they're the tiniest things ever. There's a micro, micro, tiny placostomus in here. See how tiny that thing is? And a pea pod puffer. It was the only pea pod puffer that they had in there. So we got like seven of them downstairs. So I was just going to throw that one lonely one in there. And then I bought the real tiny placostomus for I don't know where yet. And there you go. Bob's your uncle. I don't know if the leaves are gonna live outside the water. So we'll try it. I put that plant right in there. There's the moss ball and there's the other life plant right there. I liked it because it was in a little pot and the roots are already coming out the bottom of the pot so that'll always stay down. Now there's a little tadpole back there. And believe it or not, I had a bullfrog tadpole that I picked up before in a 10 gallon and it grew and it was just real cool to watch the tail go in it grew up and actually i was feed i would feed it goldfish and then if you look at my older older videos that's where i got i caught the, on camera the bullfrog eating the goldfish so that was pretty cool so this is just a little setup here it was like 14 dollars for that right there i think a dollar for the tadpole uh this was 12 dollars for the two and a half gallon tank we probably could have got a 10 gallon tank for cheaper but it fits right in my grandson's bedroom really good. There's no light on it yet. We do have a window here. So hopefully there's enough natural light. But if not, the plants will need an LED light. All right, so let me go figure out what I'm doing with these pea pods and this placostomus right now. That's the placostomus down there in the pea pod. All right, talk to you later. Bye-bye.